We just helped uh, an auntie, I think it was, trick a little boy to turn around and <laughs> take his picture because he was not cooperating. So we gave him a handshake, or Brett gave him a handshake. Um, so in behind us is the Pond of Many Moons. And they go probably 50 feet into the air on cables. Can't really see the cables when it gets darker, so it looks really cool when it's dark. Yeah. And uh, we're just about there. Just gonna confirm. Just gonna confirm the uh, the name of this place. Can you hold the camera, Brent? Sure. <laughs> and the reason I gave the little guy a handshake was because he was told that I had something for him. Yes. This is the pond of many moons. So we'll just. There's moons everywhere, all different shapes and sizes, and all the way up. We are uh, focusing on the Christmas theme <laughs> because we're focusing on the Christmas theme because Christmas is in full swing. Um, we're coming up. This will be aired on December 20th, so five days, five sleeps of Christmas, and so shoppers are in the malls. And but there's more to Christmas than just shopping. I love seeing all the light displays and doing all the activities that are available to do. And our community in the greater Vancouver area has so much to offer. Quite a bit, actually, yes. <laughs> yes, it does. So, if you're... One of the things I haven't had a chance to do, my daughter and I were going to go do it one year, and we ended up just timing, just didn't work out, was the Vancouver Christmas Market. So, the Vancouver Christmas Market is... The theme is very German and um, so they have all these lovely wooden German type uh, Christmas ornaments. You can go there and there's food and there's drink. I think there's German beer, but maybe not. I'm not what sure. What are the chances? <laughs> um, but it's, it's quite the thing. Um, okay, and next would be... Uh, the Christmas Glow. Uh, there's one in Vancouver, there's one in Abbotsford as well. Um, if the weather takes a turn for the worse and it's pouring rain or really windy and blustery or snow by chance, <laughs> uh, uh, it's, uh, it's mostly an indoor event. Uh, it has some really great light displays, lots of things to do for the family and it, it's kind of a cool event. We've, I've uh, checked out the Abbotsford one but I haven't seen the Vancouver one yet. So the other thing is Grouse Mountain. So not only does Grouse Mountain offer skiing for those ski and snowboarding enthusiasts, there is a 8,000 square foot outdoor ice arena and uh, they have Santa and real reindeer. <laughs> yes. Um, and then another option would be? The uh, Bright Nights at Stanley Park. The uh, Christmas, pra Christmas train at Stanley Park. It's uh, quite the quite the uh, event. They, I had a buddy at work. He actually took his uh, wife and daughter there yesterday, and they had a great time. Yeah. No, I went years ago with uh, with my kids when my kids were little. They're adults now, and they have their own children. Um, and 
it was a really fun I mean the Christmas train or the train is always there but they dress it up for the variety of seasons Van Dusen Gardens so Van Dusen Gardens a festival of light uh, they've got over a million lights on 15 acres and that is quite the scene uh, my brother lives uh, about four blocks away from it and I haven't made it there yet but I will be because uh, I'll be going to see him soon. Okay, and what's next, honey? Uh, Burnaby Heritage Village. <laughs> so, Burnaby Her Heritage Village is a, um, it's set up it's all year round, and they, for depending on the season, they will, um, they will dress for that season. So, the people who work there, they dress in the old fashioned, garb so early 1900s so yeah they have stores and so to go into the village itself is doesn't cost anything i mean if you buy something in the village then it's going to cost you something but um and they have a carousel ride and all kinds of things and i mean doing those extra activities but getting in the door at burnaby village is free so that's that's a neat one to go see and if you're hearing crunching in the background, <laughs> that's Wrigley uh, showing us that she's a good girl and eating her dinner. Yeah, Maddie ate her her entire breakfast, so I reloaded her bowl for Wrigley. So Maddie's tummy is rather large. <laughs> yeah, she's a little piglet. Anyways. Anyways, so we digress. That, so <laughs> okay, Capilano Suspension Bridge. Yes, that's the next one. It's, it's uh, quite the sight to see. Uh, we went in August and since we had a membership we went again for Christmas and they really do it up well. Uh, the lights in that park were all the way across the bridge, both sides of the bridge of course, it's a 400 foot long suspension bridge and the trees are, oh geez, they're like 400 feet, 400 years old, some of them and well there's probably a few that are older but still uh, the they are <laughs> roughly 60 80 100 feet high and there's lights right to the top of some of them well and now we'll show you some of those lights okay we're back at Capilano <laughs> Capilano suspension bridge and you can guess the season so they have the canyon lights festival um, apparently the whole park is lit up uh, we've never seen it before, but apparently it's uh, quite the spectacular sight, and we're going to show you some of it. Okay, so we're going to do most of the filming on the GoPro because it is a little damp. And by damp, I mean rain, not snow, even though we are on the edge of the mountain. All right, here we go. We got here at a perfect time because there was lots of parking, but for the brilliance of the lights, uh, we're a little early. <laughs> a little bit early, not too bad though. Okay, we made it across the bridge. It was a slow go, but uh, so we didn't agonize you with that. <laughs> wasn't too bad. It was a lot less crowded today yeah. than it was in the middle of August. So we'll just show you quickly. The lights go all the way up. And we're going to go on the bridge. And the horizontal lines, if you can't really see it, are bridges from tree to tree. And they're actually full of people right now, so... It's a little bit light to see it all, but it looks really good up there. I'm taking mostly pictures here because we're not moving very fast. Yeah. But I kind of wanted to show how there are twinkly lights up there. The blue light up in there and all the twinkly trees goes all the way down there. And <laughs> we'll go walk down there. We're up in the treetops. I'm just going to pan down. So this is where we came from. It's way down there. And those lights. <laughs> and... That, plat that large platform down there is basically the end of the bridge where we first came across the canyon. Okay. <laughs> well, you can see the end of the bridge there. Oh, right, right, the, the right. The white lights. So we're looking straight ahead is the bridge. And this is the little coffee bridge. shop to the left. 
And then there's a coffee shop. And then you pan around. And there is the pond of many moons. We just finished the treetop adventure and kind of a funny little story. Uh, it's, it was fairly crowded up there. It's not very wide, you can't pass anybody. So uh, a couple times I felt this brush on the back of my jacket and once on my sleeve. And then I'm standing at the top of a stair to go off of the, off of the uh, one bridge and go on to the next. And then I felt a little poke in my hip. And I looked back, it's a little, Jap little old Japanese lady trying to wave me along. And there was nowhere for me to go, so when we did start moving, I just moved off to the side and she went ahead of me, so she was a whole two feet ahead of me now. And uh, I waited a second, and it was, she was in a group with a couple other people, and one of them was her son. So I told him what happened, and he had a good laugh. There's an owl way up there all lit up. Actually, it's right above my head. There it is. <laughs> yeah, it's only about 35 feet. lights that keep coming on and off. people deep. <laughs> uh, when we got here there was uh, maybe 10 or 15 people ahead of us and it was what? slow slow crawl to get across but uh, it looks like probably a good 20 minute wait just to get to the edge of the bridge. So we planned it well. <laughs> so the lights are much more vibrant now than they were when we got here. Uh, go to a BCHL hockey game. So these are uh, junior league, mm -hmm. uh, junior A, and well, we, there's junior B as well. But we went to a junior A game. Yes. And we went to uh, Langley Rivermen. Langley Rivermen, and they were playing trail. They played the Trail Smoke Eaters. Okay. So and here's a little bit of view on that one. So tonight we're. The other thing you can do is public skating. All the arenas in the greater Vancouver area um, have some public skates. You just have to look up the schedules online. And um, I know that in our community, in Surrey, we have the Cloverdale Arena, which is set up with uh, Christmas trees on the ice. It has a Christmas Day skate from 12 to 3, as does the Abbotsford 
um, has a Christmas Day skate that I know of. I'm not sure if Vancouver or any of the other communities are doing that, but I know that uh, at the Matsui Recreation Center and at the Cloverdale Arena, there are some Christmas Day skates, which we and are attending. And we will be making an appearance Christmas Day at Cloverdale Arena. Yeah, 12 noon skate with our with some members of our family yeah. so we're excited about that so just to wrap up today um, we got a comment on one of our our last episode about our generator Don May was asking what does the generator run I don't know <laughs> so this coming weekend I will be disconnecting the trailer from the shore power taking the generator out plugging into that and I'm going to test out to see what it runs, whether it will run the, well, I'll test the AC even though it's uh, close to Christmas. <laughs> I'll test it to see if it runs it. Shouldn't have a problem with that. It's a 4,000 watt generator. Um, that's peak running. Uh, I want to see if it runs the fireplace and a blow dryer, or the fireplace and a microwave, or the microwave and a space heater, uh, or any other combination of lights. We have a few Christmas lights plugged into the 120 volts. <laughs> and, My bad. <laughs> uh, oh well, tis the season. And uh, we will give you the results on that uh, in an upcoming episode. In our next episode. And I heard on the news that there's a 10% chance we could have a white Christmas and a 4% chance it could snow in the lower mainland. I peeked ahead on the long-term forecast and there is forecasted some mixed rain and snow for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And I'm pretty sure this area is not going to see a lick of snow. <laughs> I'm hoping! <laughs> yeah, it, it would be nice. White Christmases are always nice. So, Merry Christmas to you all. So, bye for now. And please remember to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and hit that bell for notifications. Bye for now. Bye.